we're back with another review, and this time it's Pix Noob as top lane Kennen. Early on, Kennen is overextended in lane, harassing Vi under turret. This draws the attention of the enemy jungle, Graves, who comes up top to kill Kennen. You overextend, you get ganked, you die. It happens to all of us. But there's no excuse for having unused wards when you're harassing an opponent under turret. Kennen needs to start using his trinkets. It's free vision that will protect you from ganks. Seven minutes in, Sejuani's in the top side enemy jungle, scrapping with Vlad and Vi. In the meantime, Kennen is attacking the turret in front of him, and he doesn't notice when Vlad and Vi chase Sejuani up towards the top side until it's too late. He gets caught up in a fight that gets him killed. A little map awareness could have prevented this, but I know it's a lot to ask to simply say watch the minimap. So instead, as a starting point, maybe start looking at the minimap when you're auto attacking a turret while no one else is around. Nine minutes in, Kennen plants a control ward. And this reminds him that trinkets exist! And so he plants his first trinket of the game. Look, better late than never, but do keep in mind that you can use trinkets freely in the early game too. 14 minutes in, Kennen is behind and pushing top lane when he runs into the stronger Graves on the enemy team. There is no reason to fight Graves here, as Kennen can simply lightning rush away, but he sticks around for a fight with Graves and dies anyway. When you're behind, don't attack anything that can fight back, as it'll just put you further behind. Simply run away from stronger opponents. It's okay. 26 minutes in, Kennen separates from his tank frontline and gets grabbed by the enemy Blitzcrank. This is a positioning error that needs to be fixed, or it'll cost Kennen teamfights down the road, even if he didn't get punished as hard as he could have been punished here. Your frontline tanks exist to soak up damage for you. Hide behind them. 29 minutes in, Vlad and Vi are pushing the mid lane. Kennen decides this would be a good time to go push the top lane? This effectively gives up the second mid turret, and the enemy team has no reason to stop pushing while Kennen is top. Here's a simple rule to follow. All second tier turrets are more important than their first tier counterparts. Losing a second tier turret creates intense map pressure that will probably cause all outer tier turrets to collapse anyway. 32 minutes in, Kennen picks up a triple kill. What's important here is the reason this worked out well for Kennen. He had frontline tanks and allies keeping opponents busy while he right clicked away on them from a safe distance. This is the safest way to play ranged auto attackers. This approach simply works. 38 minutes in, Kennen does the exact opposite of what he did earlier. He uses Lightning Rush to get into melee range of the enemy Vi with his front line behind him. What happens next should honestly not be a surprise. Vi knocks him up, Vayne kills him, and Vi moves on to other targets. As a ranged auto attacker, you never ever run out in front of your frontline tanks. This is not AP cannon, this is an on-hit cannon who relies on auto attacks to do damage, not abilities. 40 minutes into the game, Kennen makes a repeat of the same mistake, rushing out ahead into the enemy to land a four-man ult as if he's AP cannon. It's a sad sight as Kennen dies while Maokai and Sejuani run away with most of their HP intact, and his team goes on to surrender the game. In terms of areas for improvement, my first bit of advice would be to start using trinkets whenever you're pushing hard and looking at the minimap more often. Second tip, never go to an outer turret if it means giving up a second tier turret. This can and will cost you games. Lastly, if you're playing a ranged auto attacker, never ever ever run out in front of your teammates as that's effectively forfeiting a team fight and you don't want to do that. Always attack from a safe distance, and you'll win more games. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to the channel, follow on Twitter, and check out the video links on either side. Leave a comment about the kind of content you'd like to see in future videos, and check out the Patreon link if you'd like to support this channel directly.